Jesus, everybody giving me shit. Remember last week when I called that woman a douchebag? Remember the douchebag of the week last week because she was giving me shit? Once again, a female, surprise, surprise, was giving me shit that when I read the underrated, overrated, or the questions people have, I wouldn't say what sex they were. And she somehow found out a way to kind of, I don't know, make me look like I was some chauvinist that I guess she felt if it was a good question, I credited a guy. And, uh, you know, it's a free podcast. All right? Stop being so fucking cunty. So she became douchebag of the week. So evidently she didn't like it. And what does she do? She sends me an email. Here's the email she sends me. Uh, Bill, it's nice that you named me douchebag of the week. I don't really give a shit because I always mean what I write. I don't even know what that means because I always mean what I write. Oh, really? What are the rest of us just faking it? We're just joking around? But not you. You're so fucking serious. So anyways, evidently this psycho, this is a new segment. This is psych, I can't, I can't figure out if this is uh, love letter of the week or psycho of the week. I don't know. You guys name it. I don't give a shit. So anyway, she goes, I don't really give a shit because I always mean what I write. And it seems you're just talking shit about two things that I wrote that seemed bitchy. No, I was talking about your entire email. Don't try to knock it down. All right, continue here. She goes, call me a cunt, but I really don't give a fuck. You've read a lot of my comments previously and agreed with them or had a good response to them. I'm literally fixing her sentences because she doesn't know how to write here. But it's nice that you uh, will consider telling the gender of the person who uh, who the comments are from. And I know you have a shitload of people who listen to your podcast, but I got you some more since my friends who heard the podcast thought it was fucking hilarious and then they started listening to you. So you really should be thanking me. Isn't this just typical? This is just all going to be woman bashing this week. Isn't this just typical of a fucking female? You know what I mean? She's getting something every week Every week that is free, and she still found a way to bitch about it. Okay? And then when I call her out for being a douchebag, now she's actually trying to make me feel guilty. You know, I just, you know, you call me a douchebag, you know, whatever. I mean, just, even though I... Got a whole bunch of friends to listen to. I mean, probably should be thanking me, but, you know, that's okay. Shut up. Just sh- I swear to God. Why, why can't you slap women, you know? Back in the day, how great did that feel? You know, you have on the wife beater the wind blowing through your armpit hair as you just fucking <laughs> crack. I know it's evil. I don't give a fuck. Fuck all you guys. I don't give a shit. This is the rest of her email. Okay, before you think I'm an asshole, this is what she wrote. This is actually so psychotic, it's hilarious. She writes, and yeah, I do know that the name shows up on the email, even if I don't sign it, but you just make it seem like you that much of a retard to notice. That's literally what she wrote. And then she wrote, you're over 40 and have the vocabulary of a seventh grader. Your is spelt Y-O-U-R. All right, for all you morons out there, Your Y-O-U-R is possessive, meaning like that's your shirt, okay? If you're saying you're over 40, that's you are, okay? So that means if you're going to say your, it's an apostrophe, Y-O-U apostrophe R-E. So if you're a dumb fuck like this woman, if you don't know, the next time you go to write your, just stop and see if you are would still fit. All right, like you're over 40, you are over 40, okay? Right there, you know you got to use the apostrophe as as opposed to saying you're over 40. So what is over? Do I own over, you dumb fuck? But I do have the vocabulary of a seventh grader, but you know something? You have the fucking vocabulary of a third grader, all right? You're over 40, and you have the vocabulary of a seventh grader. You can't recognize real words. How hilarious is this? And she's misspelling stuff. You stutter when you read, and I hope your dog outlives you. (laughs) And you die lonely because of your inability to commit and therefore never achieve the comedic fame of the great George Carlin. So Simon says, go fuck yourself, since it sounds like you have major brain damage. All right. Sweetheart, I'm really going to try to help you out here. Okay, if you hope that my dog outlives me, and then you say, and then I die lonely. Okay, if I'm going to die before my dog, mathematically, 
the fucking dog is still going to be there. So how am I going to be lonely? You know? The dog would have to die first or run away. So what you should say is, I hope your dog outlives you, then runs away, and then you die by yourself, as opposed to saying, I hope your dog outlives you when you die lonely. No, I would die before my dog and be sitting there licking my face in my last few pathetic moments. And then evidently, because of my inability to commit to a relationship, I'll never achieve the comedic fame of George Carlin. Oh, that totally makes sense. It has nothing to do with the fact that I wasn't blessed with his gifts as a comedian. You know, all you have to do to be as good as George Carlin is just commit to a relationship to some psycho fucking chick like you. All right? Lady, these are podcasts. These are jokes. When I call somebody a douchebag, I'm just fucking around. So don't take it seriously. But if you want to, you and your friends can go fuck yourselves and go listen to another podcast. All right? Stop trying to threaten me. Like you're going to take podcast listeners, listeners away. I don't give a shit. This is free. What are you going to take away advertising dollars from me? I don't give a fuck. Fuck you and your friends. I hope you're all listening it together. Fuck all of you. Look around the room. Look into each one of your eyes. I'm saying fuck all of you. You know what's funny? is your friends are probably laughing at you right now. Going, you know what? She is, she is kind of a cunt. She really is like that. She does have a tendency. I know I shouldn't use that word, but I'm serious. She is. She can be real cunty sometimes. And she has a tendency to exaggerate things that aren't really happening. In fact, 